Another example is atheism versus theism. Many people believe that these are polar opposites, as opposite as two things can be, an atheist versus a theist. The, the atheist is very rational, doesn't believe in God. The theist believes in God and religious stuff. But this is not true at all. There is a much deeper structural similarity between the two than both of them like to admit. It's the same issue as with the Shias and the Sunnis. The, the meta structure of what atheists and theists are doing is they're both believing. Atheism is a belief system. Theism is a belief system. Both atheists and theists believe that their beliefs are not just beliefs, but that they're the truth. Both of them believe that they're right. Both of them believe the other side is wrong. Both of them believe that if my side just wins and conquers the other side, that's going to be for the best of everybody else. That's going to be the truth. And so the fantasy of the atheist is that one day atheism will reign supreme and theism won't exist at all. And God will be removed from, from all the books and never talked about again because it's so ridiculous. And, uh, and the fantasy of the theist is that one day his religion uh, and his God will be taught in all the schools and atheists will be uh, long gone, <laughs> uh, cast out or whatever, um, or admit of, of, their, of their ignorance. This is, this is what's going on. You see the, the deeper structural similarity here? Of course, atheists don't like to admit that atheism is a belief. They like to say that, no, Leo, atheism isn't a belief, it's a lack of belief. No, it's not a lack of belief. Atheism is a belief that there is no God and that there can't be a God and that the idea of a God is ridiculous. That's essentially what atheism boils down to. It's not based on any actual proof or um, even on, on reason. I mean, atheists, of course, like to th say that their beliefs are based on reason, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Every religion... And all the theists like to say that their theism and all their religious ideas are all based on reason. Reason is not the exclusive province of atheists. Everybody champions reason towards whatever they believe. So you can't adjudicate this problem based on reason or logic or facts. Because it's not about facts. It's about belief. It's about your worldview. It's about your metaphysics. It's about the epistemology that you're using. But to understand these higher things, you'd have to go meta. You'd have to go above both atheism and theism and look at the commonalities between these things. But of course, most atheists and theists don't want to admit the things that I'm saying here, and they will argue vehemently with me, and they will try to criticize me and poke holes and debunk me and all this sort of stuff. But all of that is just uh, the hypnotic pull of the content of your atheism or your theism. See... If you were willing to surrender all of that and to go meta, you would learn some powerful new things about yourself, about life, about how your mind works, how ideology works, how atheism works, how theism works. But if you're really attached, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go meta. You don't want your illusion spoiled. Because if you did go meta, I promise you this, you would realize that both atheism and theism are deluded and are not true. Both. See, but you can't realize that unless you're willing to let them go first, which of course, most people are not. So they're stuck at the level of content.